Greetings gamers, welcome to Pembers Gaming World. This video is about this fantastic program, MEGUI2624. Okay, now there's a tutorial link down below in the description. You must, if you, if you want to try this, you must follow that tutorial. It's very easy to follow, They're probably the best on YouTube for this kind of thing. Uh, by my fellow YouTuber and subscriber, Mr. Irex. I'm, I'm subscribed to him as well. Um, in correspondence with him, I've been able to do this and he's give his permission basically, you know, like he said, the more the merrier when it comes to doing instructional videos on how to convert your 30 FPS gameplays to 60 FPS. Now, one thing I, I, well, largely thanks to him, one thing I've been able to do is convert the files that are compatible with Sony Vegas, all right, audio and video. So basically, I'm making is 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 an example. Now this is an Uncharted 4 on PlayStation 4 30 FPS test. It's been recorded at 30 FPS. Let's show you the properties. Right, it's been uh, it's 405 megabytes. Okay, so you need to remember that the size of the file because your your finished 60 FPS version it has to be the same size. There's no point in making it bigger. You can make it small if you want, but if you have the you know option of editing the footage in Sony Vegas then you know you might lose even more in terms of bitrate and whatnot details 1920 by 1080 it's supposed to be 60 you know megabytes a second something like that um 30 frames a second is the frame rate okay so don't record your videos at 60 frames a second if the game's only running at 30 there's some big tip I can give you in order to get this working um, we've got here, we'll show you a bit of it. A handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Yeah, Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense. He now you can see that's 30 frames a second, even on this 60 FPS video. But you have to render this video that you're watching right now at 60 FPS to show you 60 FPS footage. This is the 60 FPS version. Of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Was the most wanted Can you not tell the difference? To me, it looks so much better. One of those towers is right on the volcano. Movement's so much more realistic. Okay. Now, if you look at I mean, the properties of this one, it's round about four, it's 401. I typed in 405 on, on MEGUI, but uh, that's how it's come out. So, some, you know, it's, it's just basically approximately the same size. Yeah, similar bit rate and 60 frames a second. All right. Now the audio bit rate 170. I need to, I need to address that because I want it, the audio bit rate to be higher. But I'm going to show you how you can not only convert video to 60 frames per second. The problem with this program that I found, and probably many of you who've tried it, have found that uh, there's no audio in the completed file, and then you have to add audio later on, mess about basically. First thing you do, go to Options, Settings, External Program Configuration. Now, don't bother with any of these. These are all these are checked when you you come on it. But I check this. I mean that that's optional. Enable X two six five. That's just not a video codec. And not many players play that. I don't think. I'm not so sure about that one. But enable QAAC. Now this is audio. You have to enable this and then you have to update the program. It'll give you the option to update it, you know, and then you have to restart the program. Um, if you update, use this this audio codec, then Sony Vegas will, you know, basically accept it. Um, let's go to tools, one click encoder. Now this I only know because of IREX and his brilliant tutorials and his uh, correspondence we've had in comments on his video. We're going to go to the input and select the file. We're going to select that same 30 FPS test. Okay. Don't worry about that. That's what comes up anyway. Now we're going to click on config. Right. Output. It's gone out as an MP4. It's, as you notice, the file format there it won't let me at the moment, but that's one thing I forgot about. You need to check that. It'll give it'll, it's set by default for MKV. We don't want that because Sony Vegas won't accept it. All right, so you select MP4 on there, right? Okay, and then select MP4 here. 
you can it'll work with MT2S. I wouldn't recommend you try ABI. It seems to balls it up. MKV of course, but MP4 is what we're after. Now that is another one I've done previously. But what I would do is select custom size and go 401 megabytes. Okay. Uh, well, it was 405, but I mean, um, go to audio. Now it says QAAC scratch pad because that's the one I've already um, selected. Now, direct show here is the one that's um, there by default. So I just change it to FF audio source, which is I found with direct show that the voices sounded like they speeded up and the audio wasn't, you know, it's just all fucked up. So use that one. Um, all that's default and leave it as, as it is. True VBR quality, you can go to 127, I leave it on 100. That's the default one, so I'll leave it on there. I don't know what they're supposed to really do. Um, video. Now my, my video settings are, are such, I go to 15 because I'm, I'm I love great quality. Plus I've, I find if you can have that in conjunction with ultra fast, you get nice quick encoding and the video quality is pretty damn good, you know? Um, and tune in animation because basically gameplay videos are animation, aren't they? So that's why I always do that. Um, what the? Yeah, audio. Yeah. See I, if I press there. Um see that that's the that's the default one, AC3. If you was using that one, Sony Vegas would not accept the audio. So since you know you've you've enabled this one, that is the one you want. Let's configure it again. Let's just go into it again. Oh <laughs> press the wrong button then. We've already I've already explained that bit. Video. You see it's, it is complicated and I don't wanna you know <laughs> kill anybody's brain cells with um with all this but you check that box keep input resolution yeah because uh you know you want it 1080p 60 frames a second plus press okay okay even <laughs> okay um one thing you can do is change this to 60 fps test i'm not going to do that now but then you press go and then it'll start to uh, render the file. All right. So basically, you end up um, with this file. I'm going. Where are we? There we go. Test for Sony Vegas. All right. Now let's right-click, open with, just to show it works. Vegas Pro. Let's shut close my GUI down. Close that down. So hopefully by watching this, even though sometimes I might have got a bit confused myself along the way, you'll know how to not only convert audio, sorry, video to 60 FPS, but audio as well. And then have a file that this fussy bleeder of a program likes <laughs> right the golden rule with your videos I always click no is right, press it then right click properties and disable resample okay now I always have that I, it's mine's like that because I have 32-bit um, floating full range which I mean a lot of people go with 8-bit but I'm just a uh, graphics or and I wanted I want the best but that is always on by default you just click it off even when you apply and you do start another project you'll still do it so I just press OK and there we go um, and I had color correction a bit of sharpening and that's it just play the video it might be a bit jerky oh no And I've tested this today, earlier today, on a big file and the audio does not go out of sync. When I zoom into this, I zoom in as much as possible. Go to the end of it, look, the audio and the video, even when it's zoomed in like that, 
I've noticed on some videos the audio is a bit longer or a bit shorter when you're 100% zoomed in but as you can see they're both perfectly aligned and that just goes to show the audio is not out of sync with the video and you won't have that problem. So anyway, any questions, um, if you're interested in trying this program out and you want to be able to convert your audio and you've not been able to, hopefully this video has helped you to do that. Uh, it's, it's, it is complicated, I know, but just go back to the different points in the video, you know, and um, if you're still confused, just, just ask me the questions on, on, this, on, on the video in the description below. Well, in the comments below, I should say. And um, thanks for watching. <laughs> Cheers.